<laughs> Hi, this is Reed Eloade, now known as a home front goddess. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing well. In my last video, I did say that I was doing something new in this channel. I want to say thank you for those people that sent in their comments, people that responded to my last um, video. I want to say thank you. And I also, also want to say thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, all subscribers that keep coming back, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. So, right. In my last video, I did say that I'll be doing something new and I will not be talking about uh, enhancing intimacy which really is one of the aspects um, of my life that I, I deal with one of the things that I deal with in everyday life so today in looking at enhancing intimacy in marriages I want to gradually take you through um, a process something I think will benefit you and your spouse something I think is needed so many times we think about enhancing sexual intimacy and forget to look at it in total we just look at it for, from the aspect of the sexual gratification no if really you want to enhance intimacy I want us to um, look at something that is very important one thing that is very important for any sexual intimacy to be fulfilled is the person the person the person you are dealing with your spouse your husband your wife how do they feel how are they are they mentee colors are they just everyday ordinary people this is something you have to understand if your wife or your husband is maintaining colors, then you have to pull out some serious socks in your relationship. So that is taking me to one of the things that I want to talk about today. In my last video, if you watched my last video, I talked about natural remedies. Natural remedies are very important in any relationship. If it's to enhance the sexual performance in a relationship, you will find natural remedies. If it's to make appearance better, you will find natural remedies. So today, one of the natural remedies I wanted to talk to you about is lemon. I guess you've seen lemon around. Lemon. This is lemon. It's very important. It can be used to enhance intimacy why if you have a bad smell if you have an odor lemon natural it's natural it can be bought everywhere if you are in the south of the world the north of the world the east of the world the west of the world you can get lemon lemon is very important it's very good to stop odor I tell you what, can you imagine if your husband or your wife is coming close to you, then you're smelling, <laughs> you have a bad stench, a bad odor. It certainly kills the, you know, the need, the ooh, you know, that was hot. So people can pretend, people can, you know, be it. But nobody is telling us for how long the man or the woman is going to stand for that if there is no change. But what we can do ourselves or our spouse, we can tell our spouse gently to try lemon. We can actually do it together. Shower, bathe together, use lemon to cleanse, to cleanse ourselves so that the awful odor, the smell, the sweat, the smell that kills intimacy will be aborted. Like I said, lemon. Lemon, all you need to do is cut it into two. You wash with it 
and when you wash with it when you wash with it what tends to happen is that it kills the sword it kills the odor and you feel fresh you look fresh and everything in the bedroom become hot and spicy again like I said in my last video I said I'll be sharing some natural remedies and some um, aphrodisias but today I wanted us to start gradually as I'm introducing enhancing intimacy especially enhancing sexual intimacy in ethnic minority Christian marriages although this video is for everybody but I just want to tell you that my book was researched for ethnic Christian ethnic minority Christian marriages but it doesn't stop you from partaking from these nuggets that I'll be sharing in this channel. Just to recap quickly, lemon is good to stop smells, odor. Why? Because odor has a way of stopping the enhancement of sexual intimacy. A man can say, okay, if the man is meeting colors, if the man is, you know, or CD like some people would say or if a man likes good smell there is no telling when the man is going to be fed up of having you around when the man is going to be fed up of not wanting to have sexual intimacy with you likewise the lady so you would ask me right now if their husband and wife where would they go oh the man might have my, the man might well have sex with you, but he might not be having love making. The woman might also have sex with you. She might not be having love making. She might not be making love. So for us to actually go into that stage where we have sexual intimacy in our marriages, we have to be ready to put out, to sacrifice. Yes, sacrifice. Sometimes you say, oh, I don't have money for perfumes, I don't have money for deodorant, but you would have money for lemon. I tell you, in the streets and in the market of Gabon, in the street and in the market of Gambia, in the streets and the market of Ghana, in the streets and in the market of Nigeria, in the streets and in the market of London, in the streets and in the market of West Africa, North Africa, South Africa, Europe, you will find lemon. Let me show it again to you lemon you will find this i decided to choose lemon today because it's the cheapest it's the commonest uh, uh, fruit that you can find it's a citrus but you can find it anywhere almost anywhere and it serves a great deal of purples in our kitchens I tell you what, during winter I don't have my tea without lemon. So I could just, just cut it and go to the shower and just, hey, voila, be fresh and ready for the night. So you can also do that. So don't say, oh, I just wear perfume. I put a perfume. There is something about putting perfume and there is something about giving yourself a natural spa at home. And one of the natural spa you can actually give to yourself at home is just Bait yourself once in a while with lemon. Just cleanse yourself. Just be ready for a good night. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we do must be what helps us to enhance intimacy, sexual intimacy in our marriages. You must be ready to do some little things. You must be ready to understand who your husband is. Some men don't care, but you should care. Some women don't care, but you should care. Hmm, your bedroom chamber. We're not asking. I'm not saying buy some perfumes and put in there. Buy some things and put in there. But just naturally cleaning yourself makes the activity makes the coming together beautiful because you're smelling good naturally and the man is smelling good naturally so 
as a thank you further in my upcoming videos i would hope that you consider using lemon not just in your kitchen but using lemon in your bathrooms using lemon as a spa to enhance sexual intimacy in your marriage can you imagine use the lemon for tea and use the lemon to bed all in one serving hotness serving purpose in your marriage if you're coming across this video today I just want to say in the last three months I've been cooking and in my last video I said I'll be doing something different so in this section segment of my videos I'll be talking more about enhancing sexual intimacy in ethnic minority Christian marriage really in all marriages because I am sure every woman wants their husband to smell natural and fresh and I'm sure every man wants their wife to smell natural and fresh so that's why today I'm introducing you to my first very cheap very easy to find natural remedy which is lemon lemon is good in the kitchen and lemon is good in the bathroom to cleanse her body to avoid those stench those odors those smell that do not enhance sexual intimacy in our bedrooms my name is Reed Eluade I am the home front goddess I am interested in everything that enhances the home the marriage the family and our communities so if you're coming across this video today I want you to stick with me stick with me if you've not subscribed subscribe to this channel because by the grace of God I'll be pulling out some information that can help you enhance sexual intimacy in your marriages and if you are a young person was getting ready to be married sick with me stick to this channel because I'm quite sure you would get to learn a lot of things that will stop you the headache that most people have gone through in their marriage so thank you for today and please 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 subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell share this video and I look forward to seeing you again when I come your way with another nugget, another information that can help you enhance the sexual intimacy in your marriage. Thank you. How many minutes?